Hi, I'm Heather Bremmett. I'm owner of Balanced Physical Therapy and Pilates and Wellness Center in Glendale, Arizona. And I wanted to share today a few tips on driving since we're going to be taking some summer road trips this summer. I thought I'd share a couple things I've learned along the way with you. So first thing when you're driving, you want to have a good posture because you'll be taking those long trips or even if you have long commutes to work. So as you're sitting in the car, you want to make sure that you are positioned where the seat is just a little bit inclined back. It's going to help versus being straight up and down with all that pressure on your spine. So about 20-30 degrees inclined back. You also want to make sure your headrest is up about two inches above your head. Research shows that if you were in a, a collision, basically hitting someone or someone from behind, your body actually moves up a little bit as you rebound from that collision and so you want your headrest to protect you. So oftentimes I'm driving and I see a lot of people's headrests too low. You want to make sure you move it up even higher so it's about an, two inches above your head so your head rests in the middle of that headrest. Also when you're driving, you want to have the position of the seat close enough that when you put your feet down, the knees stay somewhat equal versus kind of being twisted if it's too far away from you and your hips are going to be twisted. So you want to feel like both butt bones are sitting equally on the seat each time and then your feet are flat and you just have your foot in front of you just a little bit for the gas pedal. The other thing is as you're driving, you want to make sure that your hands, if you have the rest, you can have your elbows down and you have a safe, comfortable position of your arms. Oftentimes people will be here or here and they're going to have strain to their neck and shoulders. So two things, you can bring your arms down to help you as well as keeping your head pressed up against the headrest as you're driving. So then you want to make sure that your seat is in close enough. So if you do this, your arms are in good position here. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful and I hope you have a fun and safe summer and your neck and shoulders aren't bothering you. See you next time.